Good morning. Hi, I'm Liza Hilton. I am the speech language pathologist for Perry County Schools. I work at Buckhorn Elementary School, Chavez Head Start, and West Perry Elementary School. I also do um, home therapy services for um, medically fragile children. My partner in crime is Julie Essery. She's a speech language pathologist and she is at West Perry Elementary School, um, New Beginnings, and um, West Perry Preschool. What, um, being speech language pathologist, we work with students with speech sound production disorders, articula articulation, um, receptive and expressive language disorders, fluency disorders, um, and a majority of our students now use alternate or augmentative communication um, at where they're on the autism spectrum disorder. Basically what um, this grant will be utilized for is to purchase two iPads and two durable cases and with that um, we will download augmentative communication apps, we'll use um, different apps to help us with therapy. So during speech and language therapy, we'll use the iPad to, as a way to deliver services, track progress data, motivate our students, and allow for student creativity. Um, and then possibly just some downtime once they're finished um, to access some online games and activities. But one of the main things we want to focus on is um, we want them to record individual videos so they can progress monitor and do some self-monitoring so they can see, you know, what does, it, what does it look like when I speak? Instead of just how they think they hear it, we want to really improve the perception that they have. Um, we'll use the camera on the iPads for capturing pictures for PECS, which is Picture Exchange Communication System, so we can have real life pictures that relate to that student on the spectrum disorder. Um, we'll use it for research projects. Basically, the possibilities are endless. It's whatever as creative as we can come up with and be able to bounce ideas off each other just to help our kids. Um, a lot of, I want to focus a lot on vid video modeling and have the students create their own videos. You know, maybe doing social stories. Maybe at my articulation students can help model some social stories. Or this week we've, um, done some trick-or-treating. We have let, we've had parents come in um, for therapy. We've had them record the child saying trick-or-treat. So hopefully we've talked about how we use this, cause and effect. The child goes up, they'll have the app, they'll actually be able to say trick-or-treat. On our, our, non, our non-verbal kids will be able to say trick-or-treat and then get candy in return. So it, we're trying to just help them have more functional communication, more interaction with the real world instead of just sort of being a bystander, um, just kind of letting things happen to them and people speak for them. We really want them to be able to find their own voice. Um, some ways that will, uh, other ways that we'll use this, I have some students with lang problems with language comprehension We'll let them get on um, Storybook Online or um, My On, and they'll be able to have the s stories read to them. The, you know, then they'll take AR tests that will help with their comprehension. But I also want to take that a step further and let the students record their own book review. Or you know, do they recommend this book? Do they like the book? And that way, that we can get into some of the writing process that way and language and concepts. Then they can post that, um, we'll make the video, then we'll do a QR scan to where, and we'll affix the, the QR scan to a book somewhere in the library. Then other kids can go and take their scanner. They can watch our kids and see if that's something that they would like to do. So hopefully by incorporating just different types of technology across the board and across our field of speech language pathology, then that'll just intrinsically motivate students. And that's what we hope to see. And we just want them to meet their goals and objectives. So any way we can.